Okay, so in the previous lab, um, we were getting about uh, 500 um, megabit as the transfer rate between this box and this box through a vSphere virtual, um, uh, through a vSphere vSwitch. Crikey, that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, and uh, going then through Viata, um, and we found out that either the the network adapter type uh, certainly on the Windows XP machines isn't optimized for um, more than about 500 megabit either that or we're running out of processor power either way um, we can certainly optimize it so let's go ahead and do that now to do this the first thing I'm going to do is shut down both of these virtual machines and unregister them from um, vSphere while we're waiting for those to shut down I'm going to SSH into the ESX box And you can see there, there is our three virtual machines. So we've got Viata, uh, VC6, we've got then uh, WXP1, WXP2. They're shut down. Now what I'm going to do is remove from the infantry. Now what that essentially means um, is the VM is still there, just vSphere doesn't know anything about it yet. And I'm doing that so that when I change the VMX files, it keeps the changes. Um, both all VMware products, all the way from VMware Workstation, all the way through to vSphere, um, spend a lot of time writing to the VMX files. And often you can find that you make a change, and then you back out of the, the, the editor, and then come back again, and your changes haven't stuck. don't know an editor called Vo. and we're scrolling down to about here uh, and I've already got the command that I'm going to be dropping in so here I'm setting the network type of, int of uh, Ethernet 0 to VMXNet 3 Now there is another way of doing this. You can go to vSphere, remove the network card, and add the network card again. Um, but I much prefer to do it this way. Okay, so that one's done. Let's go into the other one, WXP2. And again, I don't know a command called CI. Exactly the same here. Just finding it in there. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, now the next thing I want to do is actually turn on jumbo frames within vSwitch 2. Uh, so let's do that. I think it's ESX config and then it's something like vSwitch. There we go. Uh, and if we do a list we can see all the current vSwitches. And you can see there that the current MTU is 1500 for vSwitch uh, for vSwitch 2. So we want to change that, and we do that by doing that command followed by vSwitch 2, and then an M. Uh, I believe you can do dash MTU as well. In fact, I haven't tried that one. Let's give that a go, and then do a list. And there we go. Simple as. You've got now got um, vSwitch 2 is now using jumbo frames with an MTU of 9000. Be very careful when turning on jumbo frames. Um, it's not as easy as just going turn on jumbo frames and everything was then faster. You have to ensure that all the network cards ideally are using jumbo frames at the same time and using the right sort of jumbo frames. Um, jumbo frames on all sorts of um, within all sorts of manufacturers have diff has different um, versions. 
you can some network cards call jumbo frames and MTU at 4000 um, some call it 9000 um, so bear that in mind before turning on um, jumbo frames all over the place okay so uh, we've turned on jumbo frames within switch let's now turn on jumbo frames within Viata and we want to turn on jumbo frames on this particular interface not this one so let's do set eth and it's eth1 and we're setting the MTU to 9000 notice that I'm setting that on the VLAN trunk interface not the individual uh, VLAN interfaces and I've done that because it doesn't actually let you do it any other way <laughs> um, and if I exit out and if I do an IF config on ETH1 you'll see that there it's changed the MTU to 9000 and if I have a look at the sub interfaces you'll see that they're also both on 9000 so by changing it um, on the parent interface you change it on the sub interfaces okay so Viata is pretty much done um, let's check the link speed while we're here with Viata that's often a fun thing to do so we can see there that the link speed is 10 gigabit which is what we want let's uh, jump back into configuration mode and then do one last save can never save too much okay I think you're ready to go let's leave you on ESX top drop you down there uh, now what are we going to do now we need to bring the Windows XP machines that we currently got rid of and bring them back into vSphere and we do that through the data stores you need to pick the data store um, where it's the VM is actually stored find the VMX file do add from to inventory I created a little folder here called Viata Bench which you can't see in the view that I normally use but it is in another view we might even change to that one in a second okay we want to do the same with that one again the outer bench that's the SX box close that and in fact let's change to that view so you can see let's get rid of my templates there we go you can see here we have a nice little uh, container there